Inside Fever Basketball continues, and we are really excited for this episode as we are joined by the ninth head coach in the history of the Indiana Fever franchise, Christy Sides. It's a name, a face, somebody that Fever fans are a little bit familiar with. You were here uh, for a couple of seasons as an assistant. You were on the sidelines here at Gamebridge Fieldhouse where we are taping this. So I'm wondering yeah. now, as you're experiencing all of this uh, as you become Indiana's next head coach, What's it like as you think back to those days and and what was kind of unintentional foreshadowing? Yeah, well, you know, in this league, uh, it's so small. You just never know where you can end up or where you can get back to. And um, for me, just walking up and to see all the the new things, like we're sitting here in the media room that wasn't here before and the new locker room and all the offices, the weight room, you know, what has been brought here and what has been done here is exactly what these players deserve. And it's really exciting to be back into this, like getting back into Gamebridge Fieldhouse, you know, for the first time for good and and getting these players that deserve all of that um, out on the court and helping them grow. The Fever made history with four first round draft picks last year and Destiny Henderson kind of viewed almost as a de facto fifth first round mm-hmm. pick. You as of right now have a couple first round picks coming. A lot of that is Lynn Dunn's responsibility, but as a coach, you'll be taking over a really young group with a lot of young, raw talent. Mm -hmm. When you look at this team, what do you see? I see athleticism. I see WNBA bodies that are going to be amazing for years to come. There's just a lot of the youth and what they're able to do. You know, last year during the season, there was a time where these guys were putting up like 90 points um, a game in in a big span of time. And so just, you know, they have the ability to play with a pace. That's what this game is going to. Um, A lot of talent, a lot of great athletes that we want to put together and help break maybe some bad habits that have been formed, you know, and and get some veteran players around them that can show them how to be a, a pro. I think the word that Lynn Dunn said the most in your introductory press conference was defense. Yeah. You come from Atlanta, most recently, where you had a lot of success with defense with a young group. Mm-hmm. What are you looking to instill here with the Fever? Same thing. Same thing. You know, uh, defense is my passion. Um, I love the offense, put up a lot of points, run, push the basketball. But at the end of the day, like you've Defense is all about heart, right? Like you got to just get down and, and guard somebody. And and we talk in this profession as like being like dogs. And that is how we are going to play. I mean, our players are going to get after it on the defensive end. We're going to keep people from scoring their averages. That is going to be one of our goals. And just, you know, get up, make every shot hard for anybody that, that we play against. Lynn Dunn had a few things to say about you, and I want to go to a, a quote and break it down a little bit. She said, Christy has all the traits I value. She's an excellent teacher with a high basketball IQ. She's a relationship person and a connector. Let's start there. The relationship person and the connector, it's probably never been more important in professional sports mm-hmm. today. Why do you value that? Why is it so important here to bring to Indiana? I think with anything today, when you talk to athletes, um, it's a different generation of of young people. Um, You have to communicate and build those relationships with them to be able to coach them a certain way. You can't just walk in here and expect them to do, hey, because coach said, like they have to earn your trust. And that has been something that I've just done naturally just build the relationships with players. I'm able to have conversations with players. Um, They respect my opinion on things, Um, but it's a trust. And that's, you know, when I talked about my key points out there, that is a number one, you know, to build that trust. The rest of that quote uh, continues. Christy will be demanding, pay attention to detail, and we'll also make sure we defend and play hard. We talked about uh, the defense a little bit. I love her energy and believe she's the perfect fit for our young, talented team. How would you describe yourself as both an X's and O's coach and a motivator? Mm-hmm. Um, I think X's and O's, I pay attention, uh, the details, uh, there are no little things. It's a big thing for me. I mean, if your footwork is supposed to be one way, I'm going to make sure you, you recognize that and we'll do it again. Um, so as it relates to the X's and O's, it's the, the, the little details, uh, the motivation piece. Um, I'm, I'm a passionate person. So what comes across as being, it's just who I am and the energy that I bring. And I think that feeds onto players and coaches and makes people want to play, you know, hard for you and hard for themselves and hard for their teammates. You touched on it a little bit earlier in this interview, but this is a franchise that from the Simons on down, there's a major investment, a major belief, uh, a value in the Indiana Mm -hmm. Fever. This room we're sitting in is a great example of it. How much of that did you learn from your previous stop here and how enticing does that make 
coming back here to Indiana for someone like you? Oh gosh, it's 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 huge because all the resources that you need to be successful, like Dr. Barber and Lynn have worked really hard to make sure that these players have everything they need to be successful. It's, it's so important. I said it out in the interview, um, in the press conference, the players, experience is the most important. I think when you have a positive player's experience, then the wins will come because they will want to fight hard. You've given them everything that they need to be successful. We touched on the youth that you'll be taking over. I want to ask you a little bit more specifically about that class that is turning from rookies into second year players. Oftentimes you will hear people say that that is actually the time where players undergo, undergo their most growth. Is that your experience as a player, as an assistant, as a head coach? Is that your experience that this year is going to be really big for that class? Yeah, I think um, I touched on it, but what these guys learned about themselves during this past season is really the most important thing. Um, just because they, you know, five wins, like that's not what they expected coming out of the colleges and universities that they played at. You know, these were successful athletes um, playing in final fours and conference championships. But, you know, there's going to be a there's going to be a little time there where we've got to break some bad habits or some habits, not bad, but habits that need to be corrected and change some things. Um, but these guys are motivated and I'm, I'm, they want to win. Um, and again, the resources that have been provided, like it's all there. It's one big package. And, and also the, you know, the free agency, um, it's going to be so important that these guys learn how to be a pro. Um, it's a different game. The WNBA can, like I said, swallow you up. And if you don't have veteran players around you to kind of help guide you during this time, um, that, that's a game changer uh, to have somebody who can help these young players like, OK, so that didn't work. So we have to do this or you have to put more into this part of your game. And so, it, you know, a lot of things are going to contribute. They got great experience and that's huge for us. The veteran aspect is really interesting as you make a return here to Indiana because those veterans, you know them, you've coached them. Kelsey mm -hmm. Mitchell, uh, Victoria Vivians, you were part of when they were in this rookie yeah. class. Uh, what kind of leaders do you hope that they will be? How impactful, especially as somebody who's as talented as Kelsey, how impactful can that be? You know, you know, we say veterans, but Kelsey's young. Right. Like they're, they're <laughs> relatively young, veterans. Re relatively <laughs> veterans. You know, um, Kelsey is, has changed a lot. I talked to her when we would play games and she has evolved and grown as a, you know, a player in this league. She was so shy before. Now she feels really good and she's out and she's talking and it's just a different a vibe from her. Um, but she still has a lot to learn as well. And just some guidance. Um, for an example, uh, in Atlanta, it was really important for us last year to bring in a veteran who can take because we had a young team as well. And uh, we, you know, Kia Vaughn was in her last few years. We knew that it actually ended up being her last year. But Kia Vaughn, we give her so much credit for how things played out because she was in the locker room. She was in the ear of all those young players. She was showing them, you know, like, this is what it takes. Like, I've been part of great teams. So it's really important that even like the Kelsey Mitchell and the Victoria Vivians, that there's somebody who's been there, done that. These guys have all just trying to, they've just tried to figure it out, you know, these last few years. On the television broadcast, we enjoyed always bringing up the storyline and kind of hyping up the number one pick versus the number two pick when Indiana would play Atlanta last year. Mm -hmm. Talking Ryan Howard and, of course, Nalissa Smith here for the fever. You have an interesting perspective of Nalissa because you've viewed her as an opposing coach mm -hmm. here so far. She's going to be a pillar in what you're building here. What do you see in her? What can she be? Oh, my gosh. She hasn't scratched the surface. She has so much inside of her that is going to come out. We're going to drag it out of her if we have to. Um, she's she's talented. She's athletic. She can you can post her. She can hit the three like she has a dynamic that, you know, whoever you try to put on her, we're going to make sure we put her in a position to be successful. The sky's the limit for for Nalissa Smith. And I mean, I really, you know, get her in here and 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 working at a level that she's going to have to and and her game evolve. She she's got a great future ahead of her. As we are taping this, we don't yet know exactly where the Fever will be drafting in the 2023 draft, but you do know, at least of now, there mm -hmm. will be a couple of first round picks to add to this core. Um, it, the, the class coming in in general, what are your thoughts on them? And as you build here with a couple of first round draft picks, how significant can that be to what's already been started? Oh, gosh, I think there's so much talent in, you know, that will come out early in these first few picks, you know you know, good vibes that we get the first one. And, you know, but I think any one of them in those top three is a, is a game changer. Um, you put those, whoever that is in with this group, along with, another, you know, another 
first round draft pick, like you said. I mean, we have options. And also with the draft picks, you have options to, to bring in other players. Use, use that as, um, you know, to make trades and things. For somebody in your position, how helpful is it to be able to work with Lynn Dunn, who is a oh, legendary wow. <laughs> head coach? Her, her banner's in the rafters as a head coach. Big shoes to fill, right? <laughs> I mean, she it's so great to have her next to me. It's been great through this whole process. Um, she makes me laugh. Con I mean, she's, she's one of the funniest ladies I've ever met, you know, but Lynn is a staple in our game. I mean, it is, um, I am going to take full advantage of her and, and, just hammering her with questions. I mean, this whole time, she just keeps sending me, you know, all these things that are going to help me grow as a coach and, and our team. And um, she's all in, man. I mean, Lynn Dunn is back and she is all in. And she is, you know, she she was relentless in this process with me, just thinking that I was the right fit for this for this job. And, and I appreciate that. And I, like I said, rolling up our sleeves, working together, we're going to have a good time doing it for sure. I think we all strive to match the energy that Lynn Dunn yes. has. And I don't want to speak for you, but I know I constantly <laughs> come up short. She's remarkable. Um, another quote here from the just introductory press release that I want Wanted to, to touch on came from uh, Dr. Allison Barber and mm -hmm. uh, the importance is she says she will be a contributor to our community. You know the WNBA community better than most. How important is that to you? How significant is the impact off the court? Yeah, um, I think that just uh, that brings in the fans. Like you get out in the community and you 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 sell this product that we're going to put on the floor and it's going to be a good one and it win or lose it's going to be an exciting one we're going to play hard every single night but you know dr barber is all over the place i had breakfast with her this morning and i mean she's just telling me we're going to go here and we're going to do this but in the end it is all about doing what we can to fill this arena up and get people um you know when i was coming here with the chicago sky my gosh like the, the fans, they were fired up the entire time. They harassed us the entire time. Like it, it is, it was hard to come in here and play. And that is, you know, I've witnessed that. And that is what I know we have to get back to. What are the next steps here for you? What are you looking to accomplish in the next month, the next few months? Mm -hmm. um, you know, to sit down with Lynn and really dive into our current players, um, you know, talk about these, these draft picks. Um, but probably the most important part for me is just getting to know our players. Um, I, I talk about it all the time. Relationships are everything in this business. Um, and that is going to be for me. Like Lynn has done a great, she's, she is so ready for this draft. She's got these players. She's showing me everything that she's been doing all this time. And, you know, we're on the same page with a lot of them. But the, the players that are currently here, I've got to, and my staff, when I get that done, um, build a relationship with these players. And, and that way we can be on the same page and, and get out there and able to coach them the way they need to be coached to be successful. How significant is this, the scouting portion for you here? As Lynn talked about, I want to get somebody in here fairly quickly because I want somebody to help me with scouting and what's going to be a very big draft coming up. Yeah. You know, with technology today and with all the media outlets, it's really easy to sit at home and, and you can watch all these games play. I mean, you can just every night you can be watching three and four games. And if that, you know, if you can't watch the game, you can always go back and find it on like Synergy. But for me, like to get out and go and watch a player and how they interact with their coaches and how they interact with their teammates, like we used to call it a character game. Like we're going to watch just what they do. It doesn't matter what they do on the court. We know they can play, but what do they do off the court and with their teammates? Cause that all makes a difference. That's interesting perspective. Uh, as you look to fill out your coaching staff here, what are you looking to accomplish there? Trust. I need to have some people around me, especially this, these first couple years. I'm new, new head coach. Yes. I have a lot of years of experience, but I need to make sure I have people around me that make me better that have my back because we're going to mess some stuff up. I, I mean, it is going to happen, but I need to make sure that they are comfortable helping me get, you know, change that and fix things that when we do. Um, but the, you know, just the loyalty piece is, is huge uh, when hiring this first group of people. Speaking of loyalty, you've got a fan base here that has a, a significant diehard loyal contingent to it. Mm. And you know them, right? Oh, like yeah. you were here the first go around, but as you come back here in this position and as you begin to build here as a head coach, what's your message to the fans? We need you guys. We need you. We are need you fired up. We need you back. These, these young ladies deserve 
all of you in this arena every night um, to be that six man, just to help them get over some humps. When you guys are loud, um, it makes everything, it, it makes this whole place a different feel. And, and that is something that these guys really need. I've experienced it. I, I used to play against it. I, I promise you at one point in time, one fan literally came off and knocked Courtney Vandersloot like out of bounds <laughs> and the ball went to Indiana and we ended up losing that game. But that is what we need. We need some fired up fans in the stands, you know, just giving these girls what they deserve. Christy, the real work I know begins now for you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And Thank you. We'll let you get to work here. Yeah, here we go.